is Tesla and Tesla broken? Is this the end? Is this the beginning of the end? Are we all dead? This is Mike, tactical stock scalper. Let's go over this. All right, all right. So yesterday, uh, as expected, we had poor earnings in Tesla, as we've been warning uh, on this channel for over a week now. And uh, what do we do now? Oh, Lord, the stocks are dropping. Yada, yada, I'm losing so much money. This, guys, breathe and relax. Let's look at the charts and see what's happening. All right, all right. So Tesla had a, had a huge gap down today, which is to be expected. And it looks like our next area of support, uh, at least on a daily time frame, is going to be around the uh, 210 level. Uh, it's possible we get down there before we get any kind of bounce. Let's go ahead and check out Tesla on the weekly time frame to get a better look. You know, the, the weekly time frame is, is is much stronger than the daily than the daily time frame, but it's good to look at both. So we zoom out here, zoom back in. As a uh, Tesla could possibly even get down to its two hundred uh, period moving average on the weekly time frame, which is that purple line. By the time Tesla gets down there, uh, it'll be about two hundred dollars uh, where we meet up with the two hundred. Uh, period weekly moving average uh, i would like to see us uh, stop there you know and i would like to see some support there and for uh tesla to go back up but there's uh some exciting news here let's uh let's show this here well if you know anything about the market you know that uh that gaps get filled right i mean they they all do primarily at some point or another there's no timetable as to when they will get filled but we had a massive gap here as you see here from the drop down um on tesla and uh, at some point that will get filled when i can't tell you but at some point it will let's look at tesla now on this tesla i want to talk to you guys about something if you're still watching this video you know, like I talked about yesterday, buying Tesla yesterday before earnings. So you see the last earnings drop over here, right? We had the earnings right there from Tesla, and it dropped Tesla all the way down to thirteen fifty, right? Well, buying yesterday, okay, buying before earnings yesterday was like buying up here at this point in time. Buying at the very tippy, tippy top. When you could have been patient and waited, I don't know, four or five days, a week, something, and then you could have started buying down at these levels and down at these levels, okay? Did I buy yesterday? Not to say I know everything or whatever, but no, because I don't want to buy at the top of a drop. Why would I buy there yesterday? And I'm not even buying today. I need to see what happens to see if I can get a lower price and have some patience over the next three, four, five days. Why keep averaging in to a losing position? Wait until we find some kind of bottom, right? Why catch a falling knife? I, I don't know, but people like to catch falling knives. Let's go ahead and uh, look at the overall market. And uh, there's some interesting things happening here. It's like a spy on a daily time frame. And uh, it's not too concerning, honestly. Um, what we're looking for here is it's nearing its 200 uh, period moving average on spy on a daily time frame. We'd like to see it uh, stabilize here. Right, we'd like to see spy stop right around here in this four hundred twenty-five dollar level ish, and kind of stop there, and uh, and maybe over the next course of the next week or two, start going back up. Let's look at it on the weekly time frame. Not even close to panic level, not even, I mean, we've went through periods like this. This is nothing. This is a blip on the radar. We're looking for, uh, again, uh, maybe the 50 period moving average, which has, which coincides with the 200 uh, daily period moving average. We have found some support there in the last month. Maybe we'll catch support here again. If not, you know, we got the uh, 100 period moving average around a 410 and then all the way down there to the 200 period moving average around 390. This is not a time to panic. It's not a time to freak out. Also, it's not a time to buy more. It's a time to chill. 
It's a time to wait, and let's see what happens. But there's also some other good news. Let's check out the VIX. Okay, if anyone knows anything about the stock market, the VIX, uh, when it gets elevated uh, above 20, um, the 22 area, we start seeing the market really start crashing and really start going down. Now, over the past uh, month again, every time the VIX gets basically to the 200-period moving average or the $21 price point on the VIX, we start uh, selling off on a VIX, meaning the market goes back up. Let's look at the VIX on a daily time frame. Again, as you can see here on a daily time frame, every time we get to this level, at least for the past month or so, it has sold off. And we could probably look at other, there's another point where, another couple points where it's got to that level and sold off. Um, now, there has been times that obviously it's been elevated to the $30 level. Um, right now, for me, I'm just chilling. I'm just waiting, letting the market do its thing before I buy any more TSLY. Now, Am I going to buy more TSLY? Well, absolutely, of course. But for me, it's a falling knife. It's not time to catch it yet for me and my plan. My plan is to buy TSLY as cheap as I can. Now, am I ever going to catch the bottom? Probably not. Will I get close? Yeah, yeah, I'll get close, but I'll I'll never catch the bottom. That's just not the way it works. You're never lucky enough to do such a thing. So we're just going to wait, let Tesla and Tesla do their thing over the next day or two, let it drop, and then when we start to get some support uh, from Tesla and Tesla, let's look at Tesla one more time. Go to the weekly time frame because it is well below its 200 period moving average on daily. Let's go ahead and look at Tesla here. I'll be looking around the $200 level uh, for Tesla, and that's probably, possibly where I'll start buying Tesla. We just have to wait and see how it develops. But again, I caution everyone to try to not catch a falling knife. I know it's exciting. You see Tesla going down. I need to buy more. I need to buy more. Why not just wait, have some patience, let it play out, and get it for a much lower price and get a better bang for your buck. I don't know. Just my thoughts. This is not financial advice. I am just a guy. This is Mike, Tactical Stock Scalper, out.